yo 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 <laughs> i'm actually gonna try to do this video in english don't judge me <laughs> my english isn't the best but i'm gonna give it a try and let's just see how it turns out today i'm gonna do a diy project um, my plan is to create i wanted to try to make custom patchwork jeans pants cargoes uh, i saw this picture um and i really liked it i mean i've seen his work before it comes up on my pinterest and all that all the time uh, his name is uh, philip o'donoghue uh, that's it, like his real name and his instagram name i think was philip javo oh, i'm gonna put like it here Th this is his instagram and he like creates all of this uh, similar custom random pants basically i mean he does other stuff as well he have done bucket hats bags sweatshirts jackets i think but like pants is his staple that he does and anyway i saw this picture and um, i just fell in love with it i mean they are super cool and with the little skateboards and all of that i wanted to recreate something similar obviously i would wanted to do it like with fingerboards but i've i don't have any and i've heard that they're kind of expensive so i bought some toy cars instead of the skateboards and i bought the see-through fabric and um, my plan is to use these this pair of jeans i've had these for a long time I use them but it, they're not like special to me I often skate in them nowadays I'm gonna do like this so you can really see basic jeans I know that when I bought these jeans the mom jeans trend <laughs> was popping so these were called mom jeans in the store okay so this would be like the basic template uh, like this is the fit and I have like a bunch of fabrics that I can use. I have like all these old clothes. So I have all my fabrics upstairs. I have my template. I have my inspiration. And we're gonna try to make some pants basically. <laughs> so yeah, let's try to do this. So as you can see, this is my <laughs> different bags of old clothes. I haven't get rid of yet. Uh, there are different patterns, colors, textures and all of that. Uh, I started by cutting some in some squares. This is the see-through venue uh, fabric that I bought in a fabric store. These are the cars, toy cars, in different styles, colors, all of that that I'm gonna use instead of the skateboards. And here you see, like, the first thing I do is I just cut many different pieces out of all the fabric. Then I just start with picturing how I want it to look, how, which colors do I want to use, which sizes, like, I'm just figuring out how I want the result to look basically. So I'm just doing like a mental image here <laughs> of how the result may look when I'm done. Um, and here I wanted to choose like which pockets that should have the cars or which backgrounds the cars should have basically. And all the sizes, I have never done it before so it was kind of, you know, a lot of thinking uh, and I just, as I said, I've never done it before, so it was just, I just did what I thought I had to do, basically. So here I put a one car and I just make sure that the plastic is big enough so that the car will fit in there. This fabric was kind of thin, so I just took a jeans fabric and sewed it on just to make it thicker because i don't know it like it was so thin so i was afraid that this would be possible for the fabric to be torn by the car or be damaged and uh, i don't know so some pieces i wanted to back up with a thicker fabric behind so it will be like secure uh, and this is what it looks like when um, i've tried to sew it on like the first uh my first 
patches that I sew was really, it wasn't the best, it was something wrong with my machine, I didn't realize how to fix it, but then I did, so the rest will look a lot better. <laughs> like here you see how I stitched, uh, sewed the pieces together, um, and I used needles to make sure like that it's stuck before I take it into the machine. Uh, this will be the end part as you see, like the the bottom part of the jeans, like the ending. This is the second car I do. I did all the like car pockets first to make sure that I had them uh, figured out and everything. My stitches look so much better here. So the first thing I did basically was just to fix all the car pockets so I knew that they were done and they turned out good and like which colors they en ended up having. Here you can see like as I do it in the machine. I'm not a professional, uh, my mom had taught me some stuff and then it's like the basic stuff that you learn in school. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not the best at it, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> As I've said before, I don't really investigate in how to do stuff. I just use my, <laughs> how do you say it, my common sense and like try to figure, okay, how do I think that they do it? And uh, now I've sewn all the pockets as you can see, so now it's just all about like figuring out which pieces I want together and just sew them together. Here you have a bigger piece. I just sewn pieces together basically and like you build a leg and uh, flip in all the fabric so you don't see any stitches so it looks a little bit more professional in my opinion. But it was really hard, like it was <laughs> such a confusing, it, this was like your brain working out pretty much because it's so much thinking you have to do. Uh, all the different kinds of thinking <laughs> is in this process, but after you've done it a few times, it turns out pretty good. So the first thing I did was the uh, bottom part of the one leg. And now this is the second leg, the bottom part of the second leg. Um, so this is the first leg, the first part. And now I've started to work on the second part. It's a little bit bigger now. And uh, this is what the backside looks like. Uh, <laughs> very professional if I can see it myself. <laughs> uh, and I chose this... Um, this ending uh, from another pair of pants so that I don't have to make like an ending like it's a complete ending that I just have to sew on. I started with the second leg uh, just to get a better vision. Uh, vision? 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 Or how the pants would look like in the end. <laughs> I haven't really um, started building the back side yet. I've, start I've just done the front and I did the back side later. And here you can see like in detail of how I've sewn it um, to not see any stitching. So it looks like this. I'm gonna show you more furrow how on how I sew them. Um, so I'm gonna attach this uh, dark piece to this other piece. So you turn the front, uh, the front of the fabrics towards each other like this, uh, and then you see here I've pinned them down so they won't move when I take them to the machine. So that when we flip the fabrics, it will look like this. Now I have sewn it, as you can see. Um, so now we can remove the needles, and then it looks like this. And then I cut the excess, like the backside, uh, just so there isn't that much fabric. Some people that are better <laughs> at sewing than I am, 
don't need to you know have this much fabric in the back because they're so secure in their own sewing but because i'm a newbie i i want to feel more secure like more space uh, to use so i do that so and then i will cut off the rest fabric afterward as you can see i've made the the legs a little bit um, bigger than the um, than my template is uh, because I wanted them to feel a little bit more loose towards the ends. So most part of the legs are done. I'm gonna flip this so we can see how it looks, and it looks pretty good, I think. Um, <laughs> now we have a leg. I decided to try them on just to <laughs> make sure I wasn't missing anything and just yeah more vision of how it's gonna look towards the end <laughs> it's uh, but yeah me walking around with one leg like this I felt really confident in like the process that I've made this far at this point I had uh, changed my mind a little bit uh, as you can see I've cut some more uh, pieces um, but I found like these uh, shorts um, that I barely use and I realized, I don't know, it, it felt like a waste using the jeans I originally was gonna use. So I felt like these would be more suitable for the top part of the pants basically. Um, and I found this shirt. So the first part here and the second part here. What do we think about this? Like sewing this, attaching this text onto the jeans. And I'm gonna uh, sew like, uh, I'm just gonna place the text on the jeans and just go over it with the, the sewing machine. Um, Cause I feel like that would, will be the easiest way of doing it. Well, 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 I think this looks pretty good. <laughs> Um, I'm actually surprised that I managed to do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of myself for successfully attaching this. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, and I've tried to sew like as close to the yellow outlines as possible. Uh, I might go in and sew an uh, another one more time uh, for like the ou outer edge. Uh, but I don't know if that's really necessary. I almost forgot the little dot uh, on top of the eye, but <laughs> uh, Now like the first leg is pretty much done I feel so now it's time to attach the leg and the shorts Yeah, <laughs> I know that this, this was actually a really hard part. This is what it looks like on the inside uh, and as you can see it was like a big thick bunch of fabric the at the part that I uh, that I sew but yeah I just you just take the scissor and uh, cut the axis off so and then it won't, won't be so bothering like when you wear them and this is what they look like when you flip them uh, so this is basically what they're gonna look like and I'm actually really happy I don't I'm so surprised that I've made it this far like uh, making this vision this idea come to life is something like really cool to experience um, I don't know I can't explain it but <laughs> when it turns out as good as you hoped it would you <laughs> you get proud okay <laughs> Now I attached the other the other leg and it well it went uh, just as good as the first one I think. So now the jeans are pretty much done. I the pants are done. And as you can see like everything <laughs> everything is stuck together. And now I flip them and this is basically what they're going to look like. The only thing I'm going to do now is try to put some loose uh, fabric pieces onto the top just to make it blend in a little bit better um, because it, the top part is pretty empty uh, in comparison to the legs 
but uh, I mean all the flipping inside attaching stitches part is basically done so now I'm just gonna sew right uh, right on the pants as you can see as I did here so it just made the whole pants look a little bit more together <laughs> in some way and the pants are actually done by this point and I'm so I was so excited <laughs> And just you know just sat there and watched them for some time and just was like watching my my little vision as it had come to life in some way and I even got some pockets as well <laughs> there you can see all of it in detail some parts are in zone and some parts are sewn on the like outside, but I feel that it's okay. Oh my god! I can't believe it, but I actually made it. The pants are done. I'm actually like really happy with them. I've tried them on and everything and I think they, they fit good and they look good. They are a little bit long uh, because when I have them on, um, I like step on the on the ends with my heels. I may uh, make them a little bit shorter, but um, I don't have any rush fixing that. But overall, I think they turned out really great. Obviously, if you never have sewn, if you never have done a DIY or even used a sewing machine. These are hard to make, it's not... I don't think they are beginner friendly. They're not beginner friendly in some ways, but in other ways, these pants are supposed to look kinda, you know, trashy, not perfect. So they are actually really forgiving for visible mistakes you made. So, for example, I mean, 80% of the jeans I have done properly, like, you know, flicked in the fabric so you don't see any edges, any sewing and all that. But when I was supposed to, you know, attach the jeans, the top of the jeans and the legs, it was gonna be really hard for me. So I kinda, you know, thought it would be okay if I do it right uh, on so you actually can see the stitching, like here. I haven't flicked it in, I have just placed it on and go with the machine on it so you can see all the stitches and in some places maybe my sewing hasn't been the greatest like for this, you see here, I have gone perfectly and then I don't know what happened but uh, I just got a little bit far out you know, it's kind of visible so I have a few spots that isn't perfect here we also have a spot in the ends I have a little, you know, visible stitching, a little imperfections but it, it doesn't really bother me because as I said they're supposed to look imperfect so I don't really see it as a problem the upside of these jeans they are forgiving for visible mistakes but they were hard to make I mean, they took a lot of time I think I worked on these for like a week or something. Working at three hours a day on them, I made mistakes, I had to go back, I had to redo some stuff. But it was kind of funny because halfway through I realized that these would be perfect for my Jaden video because these pants are very similar pants that he would wear. I had a deadline, finished them before my seventh day of the Jaden challenge, so... But I'm really excited because they are done, so tomorrow when I'm shooting my final Jaden outfit, I can wear them. So happy about how that all turned out, you know? <laughs> when I showed you the inspiration in the beginning of the video, I don't think these jeans I made are similar at all, really. Uh, maybe except for the cars, uh, but obviously the inspiration pick had more the see-through skate pockets. And I have like four cars a week, I think. I knew from the beginning that these wouldn't turn out the way I thought. Anytime I do like a project, I have an inspiration, but <laughs> my plans always change as I go. I mean, <laughs> for the for the back piece, I didn't plan this. I realized halfway through, I saw this text on a shirt and I was like, hmm, I wonder what that would look like on the ass part. <laughs> and it turned out really good, but it wasn't my original plan. It never turns out the way I thought it would in the beginning. But I'm 
as I said, I'm really happy. I've tried them on, they look good. I will definitely use them. What rating do you give them? 1 to 10. Would you wear these jeans? They're not so discreet. But yeah, I'm gonna put them on right now so you can see like a little bit better how they look on. Here's the jeans on me. Well, at least <laughs> the top part. They actually turned out uh, more tight than my original plan was. I wanted them to be like more baggy, but they turned out pretty tight, but I am not... They turned out more wide leg model. Uh, but I think it turned out good either way. Especially now with the back piece, maybe it was good that they're tight. These are the bottoms. I mean, as you can see, they are a little bit long. I think they turned out great. I have some pockets, I have some different colors. And then I'm really happy about this ending. Some parts you see the threads, obviously, but... And some parts I have been patient and actually flipped all the fabric so you don't really see any stitching at all. So it has more of a professional look in uh, those areas. But yeah. I have a very a unique pair of jeans now that nobody has and could probably copy. Now, I know people are gonna ask me like, how are you supposed to wash these pants? I honestly don't know. I don't know how the designer I showed you my inspiration, the one who's always making crazy pants. I don't know how he washed the pants or are you, if you can wash the pants or if you're like, ah, yeah, you can wash them, but they're not gonna last. I haven't uh, really figured that out yet. Yeah, the answer is I don't know. And here you have tomorrow's <laughs> filming for this jeans. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.